we're already with that vendor. So inertia is a very powerful force to keep people in the status quo. And the last one I think is the most powerful. And sorry for those where English is not first language. Um, the last one is what's called cognitive dissonance. So like this. Cognitive dissonance. <clears throat> and what that means is when we have two ideas in our mind that are contradictory, it causes us mental anguish. It causes us pain. And the biggest reason for the pain is the ideas that I'm holding in the current state or the ordinary world, I believe them to be true. If you come and you challenge those ideas with something else to say, no, this is true, then what that means is if what you're presenting is true, then that means what I currently believe is not true or no longer true. And if it's not true, all these other beliefs that I've built up around that, well, they can't be true either. So if this collapses, everything else that I believe collapses with it. And the thought of that is far too painful for me to believe. So I'd rather reject what you're presenting and hold on to what I believe today. So this is a very, and this happens organizationally where the whole organization has invested in a certain path or a certain vendor or solution. And you come along saying there's something better. Well, I, I just spent, you know, the last six presentations I made to the board were all about this path that we're currently on. Doing that. So this is a very powerful uh, force for keeping people in the, in the status quo. So you have two things now. You have the difficult hurdle of getting through or this breaking through this barrier, of the transition state that's gonna keep people in the current state. And also you've got the bias, the subconscious bias of everybody to stay in the current state. 